feeling much better Sorry. today. <laughs> feeling yeah. much, much better today, baby. Much, yeah, much better. I don't have JB on cam a lot, so we'll. I decided to put him on cam a, a little bit, especially since he's home. Child, get up. Yeah, I'm really hyper. Now that I'm in short sleeve nothing there, we are going to show you my old school collection. His old school collection. But I, actually, it's really off limits now because I'm because I because before way before you play track masters. Way before you play track masters. They may not know what a track master is, so your track masters. Like Tom's and friends stuff. Mm -hmm. Tom's friends, Legos. Mm -hmm. Thomas friends, Legos. And now again, Thomas. Friends, so. All right, baby. So come on, let's let's you really hyper. So come on, let's show them. Why don't you go through? Give me. So, all right. This is my old school collection. All so right. If you kids watching this, <laughs> I don't think you are kids watching this. You don't think there's kids watching this? <laughs> so I'm just right. gonna give you. Anyways, I'm just gonna tell you all this is. Okay. So, all right. Old and new. Opposites. And I have this old video camera I actually found somewhere in the house. Which just really whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, it's just really fascinating to me. So you basically it's not working <laughs> now, but it has to be charged. Okay. And there's a little battery. I, I don't think you need to show most most of the people who watch my channel. They they know about this stuff, so But unless there's like a kid watching this. Old school phone oh, I Lord. you probably know just Press the buttons and stuff, so we're not really show that because because that is, that right. is not what you guys. Mm -hmm. I know most this of them. Old, hey, 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 be careful, baby. That's, this is an old clock. Yeah, most of them have had one of these from the nineties or eighties. Mm -hmm. I guess. I oh yeah. More than likely 80s. the eighties. Yeah, yeah, good job, baby. And there's the little what open the heck thing. Is that? Oh, I know what that is. Okay. And this, another one that's not working, and this is a Polaroid camera. It used to, like, it used to work, but, and you press this, right, to close. And then, it's a jump scare, like a jump scare, mm, something. Mm, mm. Oh, what's right. that you just touched, that big thing right there you just touched? Oh, hoo -hoo, Jesus. <laughs> this is a boombox. A boot buck. Oh my word. Oh, okay, this is really Yeah, you don't have you don't have to put that we're antenna all the way up. And that other portable thing also has an antenna too. But we're gonna surprise you with that and at the end of it. So Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Wonder what that thing is thing is. <laughs> um You gonna show baby? No, 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 that's a surprise. Oh, that's a surprise? <laughs> So, when it was here I was hiding, you probably thought I was hiding. Okay. It is a marker player, so let me see if this works. I'm not going to turn it on, I'm going to give you a little bit of reason now. Oh, baby, we ain't got you time to play. Down. I'm not going to, I'm not going to actually Yo, you're just going to show them how to, how to. Yeah, so. Okay. It, it will start spinning. Right now it's not mm -hmm. plugged in, so. Right. It'll start spinning and you put it on and you'll mm -hmm. be like. But don't scratch it because if you do like this, uh -huh. it'll scratch up. Yeah, I know. I have a little scratch that I did accidentally. Which record? Which record is this? Oh, that's that oldie. Oh um, yeah. Um, where's that record? <laughs> Sorry. I don't. I don't know what decade I'm in. <laughs> oh, he likes this record. This record. Oh, has, this record uh, has a lot of scratches. Yeah, you listen to it a lot too, though. It has. That's why. The that, Commodores. I was really a taste of honey. That. I don't know any of these people. Oh, what is what is this? What are these things over here? This is called a tape or a cassette. You can call it the so who do you have? You gonna show them who you have? Who do you so, have? So I have Marvin Gaye, Kenny Rogers. I really don't know. I forgot who this person was. That's Marvin Gaye too, baby. Oh, Marvin Gaye. You got two. Wait, I can't really see it. Yeah. I can't see that. All right, and so then what do you have down here, Bocha? Okay, tell them what you have in your hand. This is a VHS tape. It's kind of um, similar to the cassettes, but it's right there. 
Okay. All right, and then it's something called a VCR, but mm -hmm. I don't have that here. It's now you show them, show them the one thing that Papa gave you, because I bet a lot of them, most of them, have probably they know what it is, but they haven't seen it in a while. Ciao. This is called an eight track, and no kid knows what an eight track is. Okay. Eight tracks are so so old, but I don't have an eight track player. to get one. <laughs> I don't, yeah, I, I don't. And there's a huge roll of this yeah, kind I, of like tape stuff in here. I don't know about getting your and, a track player, baby. And this if is, you I don't shove know. it in, yeah. it spins. Okay, so, so last thing yeah. you want to show them. What's the last thing you want to show them? You said it was this in there? Called, uh, oh, Captain Liebert. You want now, to show it was in there? Now let's head over here. Alright. And this is my dang old work keyboard. <sighs> yeah, 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 I have a word now. So this is the monitor I was talking about. Well, it was secret and it was big internal, but I can't pull it out. Oh, this portable we, TV. Yeah, it's portable TV. 70s and 80s. Volume, then mm. comes off. This is the VCR that Not I put. Not from the Goodwill again. Alright, you guys, Um, I'm back here. It is Saturday, but look, just because, let me say this, let me back up. I'm very grateful to be able to work from home, but it has been a hell of a week. Um, I was extremely busy yesterday. Yesterday, I worked off and on for about nine or 10 hours. When I tell you I was exhausted, completely, uh, I'm so glad we're out of school. I was done. I was, I was. I have been working since 5 a.m. and I honestly I didn't stop to three hours off and on and then <clears throat> my intentions were to get up again real early in the morning today and start working again but things got side sideline I feel so bad for our baby so fat for so bad for JB um he had a little breakdown today this is his first breakdown of being inside and being bored you know I'm sure pretty sure you guys have children that have been complaining about being bored and with him being an only child though he hasn't had any interaction with other children since March so with that being said you know I've been trying to really do a work-life balance thing especially right now and um JB's not going to be doing camp I know the camps are reopening we're not doing no camp with all those kids um because it could ruin virus basically baby. yeah now we are considering going to an indoor playground not indoor playground girl no um this Lego <laughs> thing but they're very strict like hey stop it they're very strict I which I admire but I think that it's gonna be so strict that JB won't even even enjoy himself. I mean, everyone has to wear masks. No one can play with each other, which I like. Everyone has to be six feet apart. <sighs> At the Lego place, like you cannot. I don't know if we're gonna do that, JB. And mask on. <laughs> no. Yeah, I don't know what we're gonna do. I mean, there's there's you could do that at home. I don't know. I'm gonna cancel that, okay? I don't know if we can do that because that'll be. I mean, it's like, I don't know how to, I, and I don't know what the feeling I'm feeling when we have to do stuff like this. It's almost like forced fun with this, you want to have fun, but there's this unsaying of... Twist in it. Yeah, it's a twist, but then how do I? I don't know how to verbalize what I'm trying to say. They want the kids to have fun, but you got to be very careful. You know what I mean? So you got to be six feet apart. You got to wear masks. The kids got to do it, and I'm like, those kids gonna be up and just get squished. JB, yeah, we're not gonna do it. We're gonna have to find something else to do. Especially Libraries are closed. I'm not going to no cafe with a mask on. So yeah, I'm just venting. I'm sorry. I'm just venting because. I want be, I want my child to be able to have fun and and not to necessarily have fun, but I don't know what I'm trying to say. What is this? It's all so Oh, let me show y'all what I ordered. So I ordered this Infinity Pro by Conair. This is a titanium. Is it titanium? A titanium flat iron. This is what I'm going to be flat ironing my hair with. And then I went ahead and purchased another Red by Kiss blow dryer. Now, honestly, I could have, since I am a, um, influ what do you call it? Am I, what do I call it? Influencer? 
I have a contract with them. I could have gotten this for free, but it was only like $20. So I went ahead and purchased this from Amazon. It has that detangling pick and the other stuff. And I have several other attachments um, that I can add to it. Cause this is the best one I have. The one thing, I went ahead and unwrapped this. The one thing, Ow! baby get off of it. Big old butt. The one thing, I, <laughs> the one thing I like about this titanium flat iron again is that it is by Conair. It has an on off, but it has a, it has a temperature setting, so it could go all the way up to like 450. Hey, you guys, just a real quick video because I know not everyone is on social media all the time, but I did post a message on my community tab earlier. Um, there is something funky going on with my hair. It feels extremely dry, like hay straw dry the porosity feels off my ends feel fried either i need to really do a uh, i need to really clarify or i'm on my way to protein overload which i don't even want to talk about that so i'm trying to determine well at first i was trying to figure out which product was the culprit i can't do that y'all i will say i noticed a change about a month and a half ago and it was after i used this product i don't want to say it was this one what i'm leaning towards it's it's using a bunch of different products after i did this the barbatica um deep conditioner i used the tgin twist and define cream along with Echo Styler to do a wash and go. Wash and go was banging. Oh, it was beautiful. But we all know that Echo Styler gel is drying as hell, right? Did that. Then immediately after that, I used the two products by Texture ID. Trash. I hate to say it, but, and not only did I use it once, but I used it three times. Oh yes, I used it three times. <sighs> So wash my, now y'all will get to it, it's hair, we'll get to it. So wash my hair in between the double R Batika and the Echo Styler, right? And I noticed something was a little off then, but not as bad. So then I used the Texture ID. This is after I, I did the wash and go. I noticed it wasn't, something was off, but it really, really wasn't that bad. So I'm like, oh, let me go ahead and use the Texture ID anyway. Use that. Then when I went to go wash the Texture ID out this time, this go around, it feels, yeah, something is off. So a couple of things that I plan on doing to try to correct this situation is immediately go through all of my, first of all, go back to my OD tried but true products that work for me. However, if I feel like I'm a little bit uh, on the protein, I'm gonna go through and eliminate as many products as possible that have protein, which is really hard to do with natural hair products, you guys. But there are some that are out there. Sorry, I have to do something with the coloring, but look, I need to make this as easy as possible, especially with all this hair. So one of the things I did was look at a couple of videos, a couple, I looked at four or five videos, went onto the old school long hair care form, forums to see what women were using. I added a couple of things, items to my cart, Amazon cart, not a lot, three items. Um, I was running out of sweet almond oil, I added sweet almond oil which is great for um, moisturizing your hair. I, I ordered the Lotta Body Style Milk, which apparently has no protein. And I ordered, um, what I'm gonna show you here, another jar of the, of the Eden Body Works Natural Peak Conditioner, which is protein free. Now there are other protein free deep conditioners and leave-in conditioners out there. You can do your own research to, de to determine what products are best for you. I'm gonna turn around. I'm gonna show you what I'm using today and what I'm going to do today. I'm going to do a quick clarify, but I feel like I need to detox my hair. So I'm going to show you. I need a lot. I should have added. You know what? I will probably have to go to Whole Foods to find some more clay. I'm going to be doing a detox with clay the next wash, then follow up with moisturizing deep conditioner, and then follow up with a leave-in, plait up my hair, moisturize my hair as needed. So let me turn the camera around and show you guys what I'm going to be doing today. Mind you, I already washed my hair this morning but it feels, it feels horrible. <clears throat> it feels horrible, so I need to go back in. And before the, the uh, bulb light went in my head, let me tell y'all what I did. So this morning I finished up the African Pride's pre-shampoo review, right? Coincidentally, the African Pride line, that new moisture, is it moisture milk? Moisture miracle line, it's protein free, cool. But me being ignorant and extra, after I added the pre-shampoo, I added coconut oil. 
girl saturated my hair with <laughs> <laughs> so no, that the coconut oil today wasn't a culprit, but it just added to it. As I stated, the last three washes have been a mess. So let me t show y'all what I'm gonna what I'm gonna be using today. So one of the benefits of being a product junkie is that I was able to find some products that are protein free that I can use right now. So I'm gonna be using this detox purifying shampoo. I know this is probably not protein free. Let's just be real. <clears throat> but I wanted to go ahead and, and do this to basically strip my hair. Then I'm gonna be going in with an AC. V rinse and then while I'm in the shower I'm going to put on the this is Eden Body Works natural deep conditioner I added olive oil sweet almond oil vitamin E oil and half a cup of honey I'm not playing gonna add that to my hair while it's soaking wet I'm gonna sit under under the blow dryer for 10 to 15 minutes free another thing you guys is I have been using fenugreek oil that was my go-to oil that has some protein I went back and added my own DIY oil vitamin E castor oil, castor oil sweet almond olive oil that's it again try to sit I know this seems a lot but yeah we're showing them all right, y'all, it is the day after my wash day, and <laughs> JB, I'm talking to them about something very serious. My hair is jacked up, child. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's the day after my wash day, and you know, I went, while I was cleansing my hair, I was rinsing it out, and it feels, it feels a little better. It is nowhere near, like it feels 25% better. Yeah, the coloring, we look good, huh? You look good, you so cute. Mm. So, a couple of things I did. I went ahead and purchased the um, Eden Body Works natural conditioner that has no protein. And I purchased the Curl Milk Style Milk. What is this? Curl Style Milk by Lot of Body. That's coming through Amazon. And I also purchased some betonite clay. I have a little bit of that left. I need a, way more than that. Child, I was like, I need. I may need to do that Coca Cola, um, Cherry Cola, whatever. Y'all know that that Coca Cola. It basically was like that. The Cherry Lola moisture treatment that was really popular like six <laughs> or seven years ago. Um, the TGIN has coconut oil, but contrary to what people think, uh, coconut oil really doesn't have a lot of protein. So I'm still going to use the TGIN. That's what I used on my hair yesterday. The Aunt Jackie's Defining Curl Custard Curl La La apparently has no protein. Now, I did look up this generic It's a Tan Miracle Hair Mask, Deep Conditioning Hair Mask. It has keratin, but keratin is okay. But for right now, I'm 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 gonna do a hard pass. I'm gonna stick to, I'm gonna stick to the Eat Eden Body Works. Sorry, y'all, my phone is ringing. I'm not gonna answer it. I'm gonna stick to the Eden Body Works and the TGIN, the TGIN Honey Miracle Mask, cause I can get those locally. Cause I'm gonna be deep conditioning my hair every week. Um, while I'm waiting on my betonite clay to come in, bam. I usually have a big thing of this, container of this, and I didn't have any, so I'll be using this. So the Camille Rose Honey Hydrate apparently has no protein. This stuff is expensive, but I was sent this like two or three years ago, and I have quite a bit left. I'm looking for minimum protein. So yeah, it does have keratin, amino acids, but a cholesterol treatment is totally different from a protein treatment. The cholesterol treatments typically leave my hair feeling very moisturized. So with all of my deep conditioners. You need to moisturize your hair to water gun. Yeah, basically. <laughs> Of all of my deep conditioners, I will be adding honey and oil. So let's take down a part of my hair, y'all. This back here, again, I already moisturized my hair. And what I'm going to be doing is moisturizing my hair every two days. It's still wet. Now, and, um, yeah. It's deep conditioner. Let me see what this feels like. It's, it's wet. It's not dry yet, so it's really hard for me to determine because it's wet, so it feels. But look how it looks. It looks like that. Oh, it looks stringy, doesn't it? Can y'all stringy? See it? Your mama stringy. Oh, I am your mama. <laughs> stringy. <laughs> that you know what? Put it in the box. It's going back to Amazon. That's not happening. <laughs> He laughing. He's so silly. Put it back in the box for me, baby. It's kind of dry. Oh, y'all, it feels horrible. And look at, look at that. Look at this. 
hair has never looked like this. Yeah. Are these uh, fairy knots? What the heck? Yeah. I definitely need a good trim. That's for sure. All right, since my hair is wet, let me go ahead and add a little bit of this Camille Rose. Come on. <laughs> Come on. That feels heavenly. That feels really good. It feels heavenly. Look at that. You should use your flat iron then. I'm going to keep using those same same products. You know, I and mean, right now I'm using what I have. But yeah, definitely once I detox with the clay, clearing fine shampoo, and then I'll go in between the Eden Body Works and the TGIN um, deep conditioners. Y'all, Jamie is playing real quick. I want to say this to you guys. Um, just because I'm not speaking on what's going on right now in this country and other countries actually doesn't mean that I'm turning a blind eye. I just cannot do it right now, you guys. I, my husband looks at the news while, while uh, the news is on, like for hours while he's here. And uh, I am so, so drained emotionally spiritually drained so i received a text message a couple of days ago from a concerned mom and she's a white woman an older white woman actually um and she was just being very sympathetic and she's like how do you explain she what did she ask me she's like how do you explain hold on jb hold on she asked me how do you explain what's going on to jb I'm like, JB has no idea what's going on. I want my child to be a child now. Now let me say this. JB's only seven years old. He absolutely understands that there is racism alive in this country. Unfortunately, my baby has experienced it himself at school. That's a whole nother subject. And again, one of the reasons why we decided to homeschool. Um, but I don't feel the need to share with him what's going on right now. He sees it on the TV. He sees all of that because my husband is watching it. But he he is also so sensitive that he asks that we turn it because he can feel the anguish and he gets anxiety from looking at that. Um, he's going to be a black man in this country. We are absolutely going to have to, you know, have the sit down talk on what to say if a cop pulls you over. You can't wear a hoodie or dark hoodie. We have to have those discussions that are age appropriate. But to tell him this stuff now, no. I want my child to not worry about these things. I want my child to be a child, okay? All right, y'all. It is three o'clock. I'm going to get started on, really, I don't have to, but I'm going to get started on my drink. That's what we got to do. Girl, it's been a trying it's been a trying week so i'm going to be making this almost like a french martini but not really we have here vodka chambord um rum cranberry juice i have a lime juice sweetener i have coconut sugar make it pretty and i have a lime and there she go all done 